Kylie, the jellyfish. And I'm in my backyard because I was cold inside. I feel like there's spiders everywhere. Well, there are, but it's just, I can't sit in, in nature without freaking out about spiders. I don't know. Do, doesn't it bother you sometimes? Like, you love nature, but you hate spiders. Yeah. Well, that happens to me. I have now sat down. Uh, what do I say? Oh, yeah, well, this is my update video, kind of. Um, so, this is exactly a week after the break. Um, my... I finally got my hard cast. I just got this. Uh, it's light blue. They lined up my bones so perfectly that they didn't want to ruin it by taking off the splint inside. So, they just unwrapped the, uh, the soft wrap and they just put the hard cast over it. It's kind of bright outside. I have to scrape my eyes. Maybe I should get some like sunglasses. I don't want to. Okay. Like two weeks, they're gonna take off this cast and take off the splint inside because they can't take it off right now because the break is too new and they don't want to mess up the um, way they put it together or whatever. My bone. I think part of the worst part of it, all of this, not only the pain, but it's the trauma. Um, my body went through a lot of trauma. Um, I need my eyes. Okay. I don't know. I keep... I need to put this camera somewhere. Hold on. <sighs> oh, come on. The AC turned on and it's too loud outside. So, ow. This is stupid. Okay. Hi there, everyone. I suffered a lot of uh, trauma. Um, what I really struggled with was like sleeping at night because I kept hearing the break. I kept like replaying that in my head. I kept replaying seeing it. I, I just can't get the image of my arm all bent. Yeah, I can't get that out of my head. We were eating chips and guacamole. And you know, you know how thick guacamole is? Like your chip always breaks in it. And it, it just happened so quickly. It just, it, it broke like the, the chip snapped in the um, guacamole and I flinched because it sounded like my arm breaking. That was, yeah, that, that's an example of how I can't get it out of my head. And so if you, if you go through something like that, try to keep your cool, try to keep your stress level down. Painkillers are your best friend. I had to take one every like six hours or else I would be freaking out, kicking my legs and crying from the pain. But that was like the first two days. And then after that, I was kind of getting better. And now after a week, I'm really good. I've been, I've been doing well with the pain. Get easier. The first two days, I would say, are always the worst, most likely, for probably everyone. You know, getting used to things. Like, I got used to it because I, I wasn't in school, and I was just at home doing nothing really, so I had to, like, figure out how I was going to do home things, and now I guess I'm going to go to school and figure out how I do school things. Because this is all new to me. I've never broken a bone. Mine is called like a con a contrast fracture or something, but there's there's one case that's like way worse. Like the one case that's worse, completely worse than my break, is the one where the bones pop out. Now I almost I swear I thought the bones were gonna pop out, cause when it oh yeah I know I really thought like cause I was laying on the ground for so long I felt like the the wait for the ambulance was so long but really my mom was like it wasn't. Um, my arm was up there like on the mat and the break like the bone was straight down on the mat and I felt like it was gonna poke through. YouTube video and I feel really bad that I was crying through the whole video because some people can't really stand that I was really in shock I was on you know meds that were I was on drugs that were trying to make me sleep they were trying to make me calm down but they were doing the opposite effect they were making me agitated and freaking out and they didn't work at all and it was really surprising because they gave me a lot all I had to do was get the drugs calm myself down and then they could take the x-rays because they can't take the x-rays when I'm crying and moving around and stuff so they finally got me drugged up enough that I was like kind of like, uh. So then they could take the x-rays and even then I was hallucinating. I saw like people standing there and there's people like, I don't know. I told you like in the other video, there was, there was always someone like a child or something laying there next to me. It was so weird. And I didn't even think it was weird when I was seeing it, but it was just like, what is this? What's going on? And so um, that was freaking me out and I was talking the whole time, but I don't remember what I was saying during the x-ray. I don't remember anything from from the car from the ambulance ride to the next hospital. I don't remember anything after that. 
um, after the x-rays, actually. After the first set of x-rays at the first hospital, I don't, after they reset it and put it into a soft cast. Um, yeah, and then after that, I barely remember it. I was just really... It was weird. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, um, please comment. Obviously, you can ask me on Tumblr, too. Ask me anywhere, really. DM me on Instagram. I don't, I'll, I'll read it. I'll talk to you.